Welcome back to The Perspective. Captain Imran Siragal, Head of Advisory Board of the Indonesia Aviation Network. You, know, you mentioned earlier in our, in, in our discussion that Indonesia has one of the more, most or more strict rules compared to other countries. Can yes. you elaborate more about yeah, that? I, uh, as an illustration. When uh, we talk about aviation, Yeah, aviation as yes, an illustration. Okay, from the medical side, you know, in Malaysia, for, for example, uh, commercial pilots you know, requires once a year for medical checks. Right. In Indonesia, Just six once months. A year. Yeah. Six months. And then, and then the, the item that they check in Malaysia, they don't have an x ray check every year like us. They don't have a, a mouth. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, they don't test the cholesterol level, mm -hmm. you know, because, you know, cholesterol level high doesn't mean that you are sick, you know. Yeah. So, but in here, your cholesterol higher than certain amount to 40, and then and you cannot yeah. fly. Okay. So it's very strict, yeah. and which is I think is unnecessary because then, what happened is then a lot of people uh, grounded cannot fly, and with this kind of and situation, and this hurts the industry. Yeah, that's yeah. The thing. Actually, yeah. the, you you create rules that actually uh, jeopardize the safety. Right. Then the airline has to make money. <laughs> Said, okay, we like a certain supply. Okay, but well then you fly it uh, a bit. Uh, close to the maximum instead mm. of they mm. put it 80% of the uh, uh, capability. Mm -hmm. So government create rules without thinking about, you know, what's the impact of the that. Impact yeah. So the thing is like that, uh, we uh, require the pilot to be tested every time they fly mm -hmm. with a blood pressure check and mm -hmm. has to be a, with a certified uh, uh, medical uh, mm -hmm. staff. Mm -hmm. And that costs a lot of money too. Mm -hmm. And can you imagine the uh, say Garuda have has to have a station in Singapore, in uh, uh, London, Amsterdam. They have to have Major medical stops, staff yeah. there. And Lion has to have in uh, Kendari, in Manado, yeah. and Trigana. Look at in the remote in uh, Irian. Yeah. They have to have doctors there, too, yeah. and they have to have a face-to-face -face briefing. Where mm -hmm. now technology is already have uh, internet yeah. and everything. Yeah, it's not common. And they don't do it in Etihad. They don't do it in Emirates. All the good mm -hmm. airlines there. Mm -hmm. So they're too strict for me, uh, bureaucratically. But so it's it's strict, not in a good way. Not in a good not way. Not for the industry. Not no. uh, certainly not for yeah. uh, for for yeah, for yeah. the users. Yes. For 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 the public. Um, Are we doing something about that? Uh, no, no yet. Okay. I hope that uh, the new minister will uh, install good stuff that can tell. The problem is like this. Okay, minister is political. Uh, uh, you know, uh, appointment. appointment, and uh, you need the technical people there. So, mm -hmm. if you appoint technical people, which is the same, every minister they change it's the same thing. Yeah. So, we have to have to have uh, guts to take a radical changes in, in the but government. But has this been made, uh, have been presented into the ministry, uh, related ministries, uh, in this case transportation ministry, that look, we need these regulations re revisited and see which ones that we can keep, which ones that we need to uh, streamline. Yeah. So is that is that is that being done? Uh, just recently, I think okay. it's a couple of weeks ago, uh, me and our chairman, Mr. Alvin Lee mm -hmm. and uh, Ms. Karin Itam went to the minister and uh, exposed this. Right things and uh, hopefully uh, in the next month or two uh, you know the minister because we, we like to help the, the government to, yeah. to, to, to clarify them of you course. know what's what's the what's the need to be done to make better policies yeah, as yeah. well so the policy the yeah. enforcement is almost zero now yeah. if you I don't know but now but I'm I have a feeling that you know they uh, remember years ago we have uh, also pilots with the drug problems mm -hmm. what happened to them do, mm -hmm. do they get the license yet? Revokes. Uh, revokes yeah. or they, they fly now? Yeah. I don't know enforcement, but I know in, in uh, some several countries it takes sometimes 10, 15 years or forever. So it, it become a become a example of the of other pilots. Deterrent. Oh, yeah. yeah. You don't want to do that. You know, yeah. you're gonna lose your everything. Yeah. 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 Now uh, we talk about we've but the government has been swift. Tittling has been swift. Mm. But the fault is not solely on the sho uh, shoulders of CityLink and the government. Mm -hmm. um, in this case, the, the Juanda Airport authorities should have, or the, at least they, they, s we, s we saw, we've seen the video. Three um, um, officers at the entrance, mm -hmm. uh, whereby they were checking a security check. Yep. They witnessed what was happening with the cut at the time. They mm -hmm. noticed. That we can see the awkwardness, but. Shouldn't they be trained or be aware of the safety regulations and procedures as well? Reporting to the higher authority, like, look, maybe Tekat should not fly because we detect or we sense there is a, there is a huh. disruption here. There is interference in his in carrying out. He, he can't even walk straight. Yeah. Okay, I don't like to blame anybody here, but 
look at a certain situation here, yeah, particularly in Indonesian cultures. If you are staff and uh, you uh, you have the you have the I'm, I'm sure they have the uh, manuals, all the manuals complete uh, to tell you what it's to somewhere. do. Whatever. Yes. Yeah, it's somewhere but is there. But it, is it our culture to? Uh, oh, yeah, I I look at this uh, irregularity and then I call my boss. Report what, it to yeah, someone. Do you have? Because when I was a kid, you know. I'm afraid to just asking the teachers, mm. uh, sir or ma'am, yeah. um, can you explain again where you get the X? Yeah. I learned it when I was in the uh, United States yeah. that I can, I can ask that. Yeah. So I don't like to blame those three persons or yeah. the authority, but it's just that culture that it's our job together to, to bring this, change these cultures. Right. And we can do that. Yeah. We can do that together if, yeah. as long as we have a good uh, intention to do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, the, but the public has also been very vocal because, yeah. of course, it, 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 it affects, it, it impacts their, their self esteem. Mm. And uh, it has been said everywhere else in the world that. Uh, that flying is still the safest way yes, to transport from one is. place <laughs> to another. Yeah, but yeah. knowing, you know, having these these kind of irregularities, so make yeah, the question: it's, Is it's, it really the safest it's, way? It's it's our job. It's my job mm -hmm. and your jobs as mm -hmm. a media to the country. So if you look at the accident rates uh, in the world, it's mm -hmm. like. Uh, Three, uh, depending on how uh, what method they use, but it's like a, a, the IQ says it's three accidents per three millions departures. Okay, sorry, so who made that research? The, the IQ, okay. uh, International Civil Aviation Organization, yeah. and other things, IATA, but. So three accidents per three, three aircraft per three million million loss per three million departures, departures to flights, mm. which is very low. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, sorry, sorry, it's a, a, and in Indonesia it's double, but still lower than, than the uh, other mode of transportation. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, but the problem is with aircraft accidents, you know, it's catastrophic. 200 people die at the same time, yeah. while thousands of people die in the, on the road yeah. in in here around us. But it's yeah. just one 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 plus 999 something. Yeah. Like. yeah. So, so it remains. You still you still concur that, oh yeah, that, that yeah. flying is still the best way to, to best travel. Yeah. And, and uh, I encourage you to learn to fly too. <laughs> our it looks like it looks <laughs> like an interesting. But before we get to that, mm. uh, and before we wrap up, uh, Imran, can you yeah. take? Tell us a little bit more about this uh, training, the media training that you're you're actually hosting for uh, for the aviation. Yes, uh, actually, I, I like to have uh, uh, we like to uh, conduct a course for journalists and media uh, professionals, so that uh, when they uh, spread the news and uh, tell the publics in, uh, about the uh, aviations, especially when they happen, the uh, mm -hmm. unwanted mm -hmm. happens. They uh, can tell it clearly mm -hmm. and send the message uh, uh, effectively mm -hmm. to the public, not mm -hmm. disturbed by the uh, other things, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's going to be better understand the, uh, the 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 industry so that they can broadcast the information. Yeah, much for in example, a like the, yeah, like the the thing that you mentioned and uh, just now, how safe is? I give you the numbers. That yeah. you, uh, you already have the numbers, so yeah. you can tell the public, yeah. hey, this is safe because these numbers. We don't yeah. we don't say. Uh, qualitatively, but it's quantitatively. Yeah. yeah, and then also that in having, I mean, in terms of media, it's also important for us to understand how it works, the terminologies, and what have you. Mm -hmm. So, uh, for more information about this, uh, or are you going to announce this? Yeah, uh, I'm going to announce it because I am the I'm the uh, uh, advisory board, not the chairman. The chairman mm -hmm. is Mr. Alvin Lee mm -hmm. and uh, Ms. Karin Itam and Ms. Ziva Ranindra. Mm -hmm. We also have uh, Gary Sujatman who always uh, show up in TV every time there's a disaster, disaster mm -hmm. come. So I call it Master of Disasters. Mm -hmm. So um, I let them work and uh, for plans and and advisories like uh, Kia, you know, yeah. just watch the things. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think it's, it's I think it's a good move for you to do that. Yeah. Well, good yeah. luck. If we have more information on the training, the media training that uh, you're hosting, so th by the Indonesian Aviation Network, we'll definitely broadcast it on here at Jakarta Globe. Uh, but thank you so much for, thank you for having giving me. us a better picture uh, of what is happening. Yeah. And uh, I like the spirit that you have, and also the philosophy okay. uh, that you've been keeping. Good luck with your school, and okay. also keep the passion fire. 
uh, burning. And fun. Yes, yes. Keep, keep on burning. So it's safety, 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 and and fun. Okay. That was. Uh, thank you so much for being You're here. Sure. There you go, yeah. <laughs> Captain Imran Siragar, the head of the advisory council of the advisory board for the Indonesia Aviation Network, uh, on the perspective to give us his perspective uh, on the on the current uh, safety state of safety of our aviation uh, industry in in the country. Thank you so much for. Being with us, I'll see you on the next perspective. My name is Florence Armin. Thank you.